Hey everybody, it's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my Week 13 4 Key Game Picks. Well, folks, it's December, and four weeks left to go to the regular for the regular season to end. I can't believe it. The holidays are here, and it'll be playoff time before you know it. Now, speaking of the playoffs, for this, well, right now there's only two teams right now that could clinch playoff berths and it's the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Now the scenarios for these two teams, well, for Green Bay it's a little bit different than for, than San Francisco's. Green Bay, they have to win their game this week and also hope that the Lions and the Bears lose as well for them to clinch a playoff berth, let alone to win the NFC North Division. For the 49ers, it's plain and simple. All they have to do is win on Sunday and they clinch the NFC West and they would be the first team. Probably the first team to clinch a playoff berth. That's pretty much it. A lot of the races are very tight in almost all in almost all the divisions. And it's going to be an exciting four-week stretch for a lot of teams that are destined to get into the playoffs. And before you know it, playoffs begin and we'll get to Super Bowl 46. Wow, I can't believe all I can't believe it's almost here, folks. The end of the regular season. Well, anyways, going back to the regular season, let's talk about week 13, shall we? Now, my first four my first key game is the is the New York Jets against the Washington Redskins. Now, I, now the Redskins pretty much are done. They have nothing to play for. But for the Jets, this is big. This is big because they're still in a playoff hunt right now for a wild card berth. And they're they're not too far behind on the Patriots right now. I think they're one or two games back, depending on what happens in the next four weeks. The New York Jets right now are still destined to they still control their own des control their own faith and destiny to get into the playoffs. And I like I like the Jets winning this game. The Redskins really don't have much right now, and Rex Grossman's still the same Rex turnover Grossman. I really you can't trust the Redskins in this game. I like the Jets in this one. The Jets will continue to make that run stretch to try to get into the playoffs. The Jets definitely, definitely, their offense is coming alive. Mark Sanchez starting to starting to get better. I gotta go with the Jets in this one. They'll beat the Redskins to keep their playoff hopes alive. My second key game is the Atlanta Falcons against the Houston Texans. Now both these teams currently still in the hunt for a playoff berth. Yet for the Texans, I don't even know how they're still ahead. In their division, with ten Tennessee's not that far behind them, so for both the Falcons and the Texans in their own respective divisions, they're trying to keep pace and try to keep their playoff hopes alive. But I just like the Falcons in this game. The Falcons offense, their the Falcons offense is going to be too much for the Texans defense, and the Texans have issues at quarterback. They both they lost Schaub and Liner to season-ending injuries. I definitely got to go with the Falcons. The Falcons will def is definitely going to be way too much for the Texans. I just don't see the Texans really. I mean, they'll make the playoffs, but it's, but the way the way everything is right now, I mean, you just you, what what seeding positions they're going to be in? Who knows? And who knows if the Tex if the Titans can catch them? It'll be interesting for this team. Obviously, I don't really give the Texans much hope, but they'll make the playoffs. But probably. Probably, let alone maybe if they win the division, they'll probably maybe get as the fourth seed. So, but going back to this, going back to that, to the Falcons Texans game, you got to go with the Falcons here. The Falcons are doing everything they can to try to keep pace with the Saints, even though the Saints won the first meeting against them. Just Atlanta has a lot to prove itself right now, and they still have a good offense. I got to go with the, got to go with the Falcons over the Texans. Key game number three. It's the Detroit Lions against the New Orleans Saints. For the Saints right now, going back to the Atlanta Falcons, they're trying to catch them. And for the Saints, they want a little breathing room here. They def Drew Brees is having a hell of a year. MVP numbers as well. Of course, Aaron Rodgers is still number one right now in that category this year. But give the Saints a lot of credit and Drew Brees and the, and the offense. They they've done very well. And for the Lions, I don't really give them much of a chance in this game, as they really. If you're this team, I mean, you lose one of your best defensive players sued to two game suspension. Drew Brees and that offense is going to really give the Lions defense a lot of trouble. 
I like the Saints in this one. You've got to go with them again over the Lions. The Lions, their playoff hopes are fading fast. They they started out well, but I just now the way the way it's looking right now, I they I think they could miss the playoffs here. With all the trouble they had, especially with Sue with a two game suspension, they need him desperately. They need him badly to control the defense. Because it, that's he's the heart and soul of that defense, whether you like it or not. But Drew Brees in the offense is going to be way too much. You gotta go with the Saints over the Lions. And key game number four. Obviously, it's the big one right here. The Green Bay Packers against the New York Giants. And this is definitely going to be my upset pick here. It would not surprise me. Now for the Green Bay Packers, they're like I like I told you earlier in this video, their playoff their playoff their playoff clinching scenarios pretty much are set. All they have to do is win and hope that the Lions and Bears lose. And simple as that. They clinch the division and they clinch a playoff berth. But the New York Giants, they're desperate. They're a desperate team right now. They've lost three games straight, and really, they really need a win desperately to keep to keep their playoff hopes not only to keep their playoff hopes alive, but also the division lead on the line. They haven't played the Cowboys yet, and the Cowboys are breathing down their neck. And this will be interesting to see what the Giants will do in this game against the Packers. Now, the Packers and Aaron Rodgers are putting up hell of numbers, MVP numbers. Obviously, he's going to get the MVP this year. There's no, there's no doubt about it. The defense is playing fantastic. This is just hard to say, but the Giants, I like, I think the Giants have ended a perfect season before. You got to go back to Super Bowl 42. They beat the Patriots. They ended that perfect season. And it would not surprise me if they do it again, this time to the Packers. I think I'll give the Giants a... I think I'm going to give the Giants some slack. Obviously, Eli Manning needs to play a hell of a lot better, and I'm going to go with the I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm going to say the New York Giants end the Green Bay Packers' perfect run at the perfect season because the Giants right now they're desperately needing a win, and the Cowboys are breathing down their neck as I, as I repeated earlier. The Giants really I think the Giants play with much more desperation, and they are going. To be hungry for a win here, and the Packers, I think, are going to be surprised in this. So, for this one, you got to. I'm going to go with the New York Giants over the Green Bay Packers. Now, this is a suicide pick, I know, but for some reason, I see this happening. I don't know how, but I just see it happening. Okay, everybody, that's it for my four key game picks for Week 13. I will post up the rest of my Week 13 picks at crazyfrankie56.blogspot.com. And I will see you next week for my Week 14 14 game picks. Until now, you guys, enjoy your weekend. Take care.